Being accountable for your trading decisions is one of the most overlooked factors in becoming a successful trader. Let's be honest, we don't remember the small details when it comes to trading, especially if a trade loses as we just toss it to one side. However, it's these small details that are likely holding you back and that is why what I'm about to show you will increase the chances of you becoming a profitable trader. Hi and welcome back to the How to Trade YouTube channel. My name is Connor Woods, one of the trading coaches here. And in today's video, we're going to dive into the aspect of journaling your trades. The importance of this video should not be overlooked. And that is why I'm not only gonna show you why you should be journaling your trades, but I'm gonna show you how to use our free journal template that you can download. Make sure you keep watching until the end. A trading journal is like a logbook or diary where traders record their trades, strategies, and observations. It's a comprehensive record of their trading journey, including their winning and losing trades, their emotions, and lessons learned. It's a great tool for self-reflection, self-improvement, and accountability. Here are just some of the benefits of using a trading journal. Number one, a trading journal helps you track your progress over time. By recording your trades and results, you can see how you are doing and then adjust your strategies as needed. Number two, by analyzing your trades and results, you can then identify patterns in your trading behavior. This can help you identify areas you need to keep and those that need to be improved, because ultimately you might choose to change your trading plan altogether, and that's fine. Number three, a trading journal can help you stay disciplined by keeping you accountable for your trades. This is the big one for me. By recording your trades and emotions, you can see how your emotions can affect your trading decisions and then you adjust your behavior accordingly. Everyone makes mistakes, but how you learn from them is what counts. And finally, by keeping a trading journal, you can reflect on your mistakes and learn from them to avoid repeating them. There's many more benefits of using a trading journal, but these are the main ones for me. Okay, so probably the bit you're all waiting for is how do I get access uh, to the free template itself? Uh, it's very, very easy. There's, well, there's two ways in which you can get access to it. Um, the first way is an Excel file, um, which you'll probably find on our um, trading journal template blog. If you scroll down here, this is the top of it. If you scroll down to trading journal template Excel sheet free download, you click on that link and it will download a free file for you. The other way is if you've been using, um, utilizing our trading academy in the beginning modules, um, I talk about the trading journal and it comes across, and I've, I've made a Google sheet essentially. Um, you'll have to request access to it and um, as soon as I can give access to it, I will. I'm normally around my desk most times in the day and I'll give you access to be a viewer. Then what you need to do, rather than everyone editing the same one, is if you head over to file, um, go over to make a copy, and then you can save your own one. The, the instructions for that are in this notes at the top here. So here is our trading journal template. It's completely free. We have an automated date where you can click the date in which you entered the trade. Um, a short or a long order. You can type in the asset here as well. Your entry price and your exit price once you do get out of the trade. We need to fill that in. What your close profit and loss of that is. Again, you can copy that all from your MetaTrader 4 what the strategy is that you're using, um, how confident you felt in the trade. That's normally around sort of how well did you follow the rules? Was it just speculation or was there particular rules that you followed? Uh, your comments on the trade before you entered and then sort of your feelings and stuff after the trade um, had finished, any lessons that you'd learned and this win and loss column will automatically update. What would also automatically update is the profit and loss at the top. Um, so I've set this at the moment to a 50,000 account. You can change that to whatever you want. Just go and change the number here to whatever your account balance is and it'll work out the percentage for you. Um, excuse me, I don't want to do that. And that's really it. That's in terms of, and you can you can delete some columns and you can play around and edit it as much as you want. This is the one that, that I typically use. Let's say we're going to go and use it then. So I'm coming into my trading day, load up my trading journal. The first thing I do, have a look to see if there's any open trades um, on. At the moment, I've got all my trades closed out. I then head over to my Switch Markets MT4 and I can see that there's a potential opportunity. And this is just, you know, speculative to potentially go short on the euro versus the, uh, the dollar versus the Japanese yen. So I place a trade because we're right hovering around this um, 12 EMA and I'm testing out a strategy where I'm looking to uh, sell on retests of 12 EMA. It can be anything you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, and my stop loss is going to be up at this EMA 36. 
We place the trade and once we've done that we copy over the details onto our platforms. So the date at the moment is the 1st of October. I've just gone short on the dollar versus the Japanese yen. My entry price, 143.7725. Uh, it was an EMA strategy. Now I'm quite, ha I'm quite happy with how I followed the rules there. So I put five to, and I put in here comments test of EMA 12 because I'm using that, I'm testing that strategy at the moment. Again, this is all hypothetical. And then the lessons, I just wait for that trade to fit finalize, you know, it's or wait for it to conclude basically. And then we fill in the rest. So that's all we've got to do at the start. See how that took sort of, what, all of 25 seconds to fill in the initial part. We then wait for the trade now to conclude and then we have a look to see if there's anything in our behavior or anything like that that we could learn from let's just wait to see the conclusion of this trade okay so i'm back let's have a look to see how our dollar yen trade got on as you can see our dollar yen trade at the bottom managed to hit our take profit of 143.669 so all we got to do now is head over to um, our trading journal and put that in there like this so we've got 143.699 remember this isn't necessarily the strategy to use I'm just showing you any sort of strategy to use this is how you do it our profit for that was 89.09 change decimal places at the top here by the way you can you can change how many decimal places you want so then we start to look at lessons and comments on the trade to so a test of the EMA of the 12 so trade reach take profit and then spiked higher so we, it's good that we that we targeted the previous low, didn't get too greedy with the trade. And then as you start to build more and more data, as you get, say, for example, 100 trades in here, you'll start to notice some of the things that you're doing right and some of the things that you aren't doing so well. Like I know here, for example, I was testing a fundamental strategy. I traded when there was no news. I put that in capital letters. Here, re-entry as direction was correct, stop loss was placed on the support, should have, been, should have been a few pips below. So once you start to get all of this filled up with different bits of data, you'll start to then realize there's certain things that you do, which you never would have known if you wasn't journaling your trade before. There's certain things that you do that maybe you need to cut out and there's certain things that you do right, whether it's like for this, for this this in this example, we targeted the previous low, we didn't get too greedy. So now I'm gonna try, when I hit my, when I try and set my take profits now, I'm only gonna ever target the previous low or the previous high as my first initial take profit target. See how we get on with that. Um, and yeah, that's what we need to do, just build up a catalog. So I'd recommend trying to do this for say three to six months, get a real, backlog of data is what you want and also try and do it for a tab for each strategy so as you can see here for this EMA strategy really what I should do is make a new tab and test that on its own test the performance of that on its own we don't want to know anything else we just want to know how that strategy performs and how I execute it and then you can start cutting out your mistakes then you can start seeing the things you do well and things you don't do as well and then you can become a much much better trader and using a trading journal is absolutely essential if you want to grow as a trader. Thanks to this video, you should now have access to our free template. And this is the one that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is all about building good habits. And this is certainly one you'll thank me for in years to come. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon so you never miss out on any of our future content. There's also a link to an article on this in the description below. Thank you for watching and happy trading.